Hey Pokemon trainers! Earlier this summer we got a brand new trailer for Pokemon Legends Arceus. One of the big reveals of this showcase were the new regional Pokemon and evolutions. Since then, I've been thinking about other Hisuian forms we could see in the game, so for today's video I'll be discussing 5 ideas for new Hisuian Pokemon. So let's get into it! Welcome back everyone! So that new Legends Arceus trailer last month was something else. It provided a ton of new details about the game, including the backstory and battle features. I'm really excited to try out the new Rage Battles. It looks like it'll be an interesting addition to the Pokemon battle mechanic. So along with the story and battle mechanics, we also learned about four Pokemon that are exclusive to the region. And of these four, three have been confirmed to be rideable. Weirdeer will take you across the land at high speeds, Basque Legion will help you traverse the vast seas, and Hisuian Braviary will take you soaring through the skies. Overall, this is a pretty big reveal, though it's likely there will be a lot more Hisuian forms to come. We only knew about a handful of Galarian forms prior to Sword and Shield's release, so it wouldn't surprise me if they were holding some back. Today we'll discuss some possible options for other Hisuian forms, and we're starting things off with a leaked unknown Pokémon. Now just a heads up, there's some slight spoilers ahead. So if you'd like to remain spoiler free, I'll give you a few seconds to click to the next prediction, which will start at this timestamp. And we're back. So several screenshots of the game were leaked in February, right before the first trailer dropped. Some of these screenshots showed silhouettes of what could be new Pokemon. With the latest trailer, two have been revealed to be Hisuian Braviary and Weirdeer. The third Pokemon, however, remains a mystery. With what looks like a leaf protruding from its head, I'd say this Pokemon highly resembles Nuzleaf, so perhaps this is either an alternative Nuzleaf evolution or a Hisuian form of Shiftry. That would be really cool. Now if I had to make a guess on its typing, I'd have to say this Pokemon would remain a Grass type. It's also possible it could have a second typing if it's Shiftry, so I think Rock, Ground, Steel, or Fighting are possible typings for this Pokemon. It'll also be cool to have a Pokemon help you scale tall cliffs and mountains in the game. So that's going to wrap up the leaks, now let's talk about a previously released Pokemon that could be Hisuianized. Returning to the four announced forms, I'd say that two came from underwhelming pre-evolutions. Now I'm not saying that Stantler or Basculin are bad Pokemon, but they're definitely not the most popular among the fanbase. It's because of this trend that I want to take a look at another less popular Pokemon who could use an upgrade. That spot in our list goes to none other than Dunsparce. Oh Dunsparce. We really thought you'd get a new form by now. A Mega Evolution, an Alolan form, a Gigantamax form, or even a Galarian form. But nope, nothing. Dunsparce has remained pretty underwhelming since its release in Gen 2. That being said, I think that could change with Legends Arceus. What if hundreds of years ago, Dunsparce from the Hisui region were able to evolve into regal, dragon-like creatures? Maybe these Hisuian Dunsparce required an item or substance which was available at the time of these games. Regardless of the method, I think a Dragon-type Dunsparce evolution would be a great addition to this game. I'm sure it would easily become a fan-favorite Pokémon. Next up, let's talk about an idea that makes the game's new forms unique. We've seen newer generations bring cool spins to older Pokémon. Now, we're revisiting a region that debuted over 15 years ago. Basculegion and Hisuian Braviary have showed new variations of Pokémon introduced after the Sinnoh region, so what about a new Pokémon based on the recent Gala region? With this in mind, I think a Hisuian Impidimp would be a really cool idea. Maybe this form of Impidimp had to adapt to the harsh climate of the region and became part Ice-type. As for Grimmsnarl, we could either see a Hisuian form or a new evolution from Morgrem. As for rideability, perhaps it'll help you traverse the icy tundras. Now the first three ideas we've talked about have been for ordinary Pokémon. So for our next idea, let's discuss the potential for a new legendary form. While this one may not be super likely, it'll still be fun to speculate. So in Sword and Shield's Isle of Armor, we were introduced to Kubfu, the legendary Wushu Pokémon. Kubfu could evolve into Urshifu, which was unique because it had two forms, Rapid Strike and Single Strike. Do these forms sound familiar? Well they should, because these two forms are very similar to the new combat options we'll have in Legends Arceus. During Pokémon battles, you'll be able to either use the Agile style or Strong style. 
It's clear that Gen 8's Urshifu forms were a tease to the new battle styles we'll see in this game. Additionally, one of its Shield Pokedex entries states that Urshifu inhabits the mountains of a distant region. And what region has iconic mountains? Sinnoh sure does! Which is why I think a Hisuian form of Urshifu could be a great way to tie this game to the 8th generation. Maybe this Hisuian form could be sort of the ultimate form of Urshifu, being able to use both the Rapid Strike and Single Strike styles. That would be really cool, but even if we don't see a Hisuian Urshifu, I think it's a neat little easter egg nonetheless. The final idea we'll discuss is one that was brought up around Arceus' initial announcement, and that's the potential for brand new forms of the three starter Pokémon. While Rowlet, Cyndaquil, and Oshawott are the same in their respective regions, it's possible they will have to adapt to the new environment, meaning we could see new forms of Decidueye, Typhlosion, and Samurott. I could see Rowlet's evolution really leaning into its Archer design, maybe gaining the Psychic type to give it more precise aiming. As for Cyndaquil, its evolution could hide itself in veils of smoke and smog that emerge from its body, perhaps giving it a dark typing to match its more stealthy abilities. Finally, Oshawott's new evolution could go with the all-new warrior design that Samurott merely teased in Gen 5. It would be awesome to see it sporting a shell sword and gaining the fighting typing as well. New forms or evolutions would be quite unprecedented, but it could definitely be a way to make these new starters feel fresh on this new adventure. So what are your thoughts on these new Hisui and form predictions? And are there any new forms or evolutions that you'd like to see? Let me know down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, consider giving it a thumbs up and hitting that subscribe button. We're still four months away from the release, so we'll have a lot more Arceus content coming to the channel. Also, shout out to all the artists that let me feature their work in the video. So a big thank you to DA Drake 95 Agent Kieran, Kebby Kango, and Saint Guardia Region. I'll have links to their social media in the description below. I highly recommend checking them out. Also for Pokemon Go fans, next week I'll be analyzing a Trickster Pokemon who may be debuting in October. So until then, thank you all so much for watching, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.